to one day play the Red Roof. Yeah, absolutely. Make some noise for the man. Absolutely. And we're here for him, not just as a songwriter, but also because he is one of the nicest, most genuine, most down-to-earth, just most incredible people. And uh, let's blow this, let's blow the roof off this sucker, shall we? family they become part of your family be around until he'd have a book in one hand and a guitar in the other one and he learned how to do it all and he studied engineering under Brent Mayer who I believe is probably here tonight and he taught himself songwriting and I was just along for the ride I was like you uh, just one of the blessed people to know this guy and one day Kip Kirby came out to interview me for a little magazine article and, and there wasn't anybody around the studio with me and Todd so uh, I was going out we were going to throw a pie in the face of Kelso Hurston some of you old <laughs> he needed a pie in the face right 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 <laughs> There's Ron back there. And uh, but I said, y'all want to go out to the airport? Well, they said, no, I think, they, they said, I think we'll stay here. I think a little spark was on. And they've been together ever since. <laughs> so that was the beginning of a great love story. God bless them.
Other, other groups from England mention Bridgestone Arena, Carnegie Hall, but I said no. I want to play for Todd at the Red Rooster. And here I am. This is where 